Wake up with the Kido team every Thursday morning and get the latest in the news from the Copper Belt and beyond. Drawing boards have run out because people have been going there, nothing is coming back. Catch Morning Live, news and current affairs only on ZNBC TV1 and TV2. ZNBC, just for you. Thank you for still staying with us. And now we get to our feature story. The first museum in Luapula province has opened its doors in Mwansawombe with fishing and witchcraft featuring prominently in the art crafts. Witchcraft is being featured because it has in the past been demonized as evil and research into its possible benefits to society is now being done. Paul Shalala toured the museum and now reports. With its rich history and culture, Luapula province had no place where people could learn about its people and their way of life. For decades, the only sources of historical information for the people of Luapula was through oral tradition and books. But now, government has established the first ever museum in the province. The Luapula Open Air Museum is at Kazembe in Mansawumbu district. The museum was recently established to showcase the culture of the province during the just ended Wapula Expo and Investment Conference. I think the idea for the Open Museum came from the realization that the province, the region, one, has a lot of cultural heritage, has a lot of uh, artifacts and exhibits that needed storage, that needed to be exhibited and shown to the people. So when the Expo was organized, one of the components of the Expo was not only to market the province for industrialization or setting up of investments in form of agriculture or tourism but also to create a cultural platform where the heritage of this province can be preserved in a professional manner so when we went around with the honorable minister to lobby for funds for the expo one of the packages we had was the cultural heritage package and this idea was born from there so Jed Africa came on board and bought the package and together we decided to set up an open air museum. Among the many themes of the museum are fishing and witchcraft. All aspects of fishing are preserved here including some dugout canoes and the different species of fish. With prominent areas such as Mununga and Kashikishi being well known for witchcraft some items previously used for the practice are now displayed at the museum. Also there's a section where we're exhibiting witchcraft objects. Now you might ask why witchcraft? You know, witchcraft is only a term. What is important in that compound word is the word craft. A craft is a skill, you know, and it's unfortunate that this skill was termed bad or evil or devilish. But for us, we would like to study this skill, this craft even more. And we encourage communities to bring out stories, to show us some of the methods that they, they practice this magic. Because it's simply magic. You know, of course, what you see is no longer potent. Uh, it's been neutralized, of course. And uh, we are interested in learning, doing more research in witchcraft. Personnel from the Motomoto Museum in Mbala played a key role in setting up this museum. It was a challenge because we had to start from the scratch. So the best thing we could do was to get to the people, get to the communities, ask them to give us at least the bits and bits of their traditional heritage that is remaining. So we worked with the officers from the Ministry of Chiefs and Traditional Affairs and the Department of Culture. They went out into the chief domes, collected the things that you, we have exhibited here. So what we have presented is what the people were actually able to give us at this point in time. Some of the exhibits at the museum are photos of the various traditional ceremonies found in Wapula province. Zambia News and Information Services photographer Alex Mukuka is the person behind these images. These are not uh, the first pictures I've done. Uh, my best picture I did is of the late President Mwanawasa when he was going out of the country. I caught that picture, the last wave, and that's the picture which has been used on his tombstone. Uh, coming to these pictures, I've been in Iluapula, uh, serving as a photographer 
for the past 11 years. Uh, this has accorded me time to go around to document uh, uh, various tribes of uh, Luapura province and the, uh, picture, the pictures are in the category of uh, political, uh, culture, uh, traditional ceremonies and other uh, topics. Among the prominent people promoted in this museum is Luka Mumba, a man who is believed to have been the richest in the province before Zambia's independence. He is believed to have been the first black man in Luapula to own a vehicle and he made his money through selling fish. Mr. Luka Mumba came from a humble background in Mamfuli, who by 1942-47 owned his first second-hand truck which he used to transport the fish. By the time Mr. Luka Mumba, 1957-1958, was one of the wealthiest Africans here. The first to ever build a, for, a hotel for Africans in Mansa and that shows you that if the fish industry is well managed everybody can benefit from the fisherman to the lady who collects the fish in the morning to sell to the person who runs the cold room up to you know the point of co consumption. The Rapula Open Air Museum is located at the site for the Mtomboko ceremony of the Runda speaking people and it is open to the public Oshalala, ZNBC News in Masawombe District, Luapula Province. We move on on the program. Andy, now